I would love to know what your most memorable or funniest moment from making it was. Stepping into the tomb for the first time. I, l I grew up loving adventure films and like Indiana Jones and The Mummy and read a lot about Egyptian mythology. Me and actually Walton Goggins, my colleague, had spoken so much about that. And the nice thing is that we didn't use that much green screen. Instead, we kind of uh, had all these incredible build sets. So uh, we kind of were just like jumping down. We had a very difficult time being serious the first day because we just walked around these big rooms and looked at all the details. So what are you actually seeing on set when, when you go into those tombs? They actually used the uh, far end of the studio. So it felt like a huge cave. It looked like it was rocks going up all the way and you could like go down big hallways. It was this, you know, we could find sarcophagus. You could find inscriptions on the wall and paintings. Things. And I mean, I, I met our production designer, I just said, how many months have you worked on this? So yeah, I, I was pretty blown away by, by the detail work that I put in. Were you able to uh, steal, steal any something? mementos? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> any artifacts that I brought back home? <laughs> no, sadly, I did bring the uh, clapper with me from set as, as a little token. That's a good uh, souvenir. Yeah, I thought so. I'll put it, you know, next to the my, my, my TV or something. It'll look, look a bit cool. The film sees you doing some incredible action stunts. I would love to know what your fitness training routine was like. Yeah, it was a lot. Even I was like not really aware what needs to be put in because I, I, I wanted to. I had looked at a lot of uh, athletes women and, and, and all the stunt girls that I've met in the film industry over the last few years. And I was like, now when, after meeting the director, they want a much more realistic tone to this film. I really wanted to be plausible that Lara can do these things. So I was like, I need to have more of a physique as these women have. And I kind of looked up to them and I met my trainer Magnus and he helped me put on about 10, 12 pounds of muscle. And uh, sadly it goes away very quickly again, but it, it was a lot about what you eat. You need to eat a lot. I trained every morning and I did like archery climbing, MMA boxing. Did that for about three, four months leading up before shoot and then throughout the shoot as well. You're not keeping up the MMA then? The, uh, the boxing, uh, I had an incredibly cool girl called Rose who trained me quite a lot. The rock climbing too, that I really enjoyed. I, I even went and bought myself a pair of climbing shoes that I've been enjoying using a few times since I finished the job, so yeah.